हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माई चैनल सो गाइज आई एम स्टार्टिंग अ न्यू सीरीज ऑन पी सी एन एस ए एंड टारगेट फॉर दिस कोर्स इज बेसिकली फॉर सिक्स मंथ वॉट डज इट मीन दैट आई एल बी एबल टू कम्प्लीट ऑल द टॉपिक फॉर पी सी एन एस ए एज वेल एज आई एल बी मेकिंग यू रेडी फॉर द जॉब आई एल बी शेयरिंग माई ऑल experiences what exactly happen in the industry what happens in the production network so that whenever you go for a interview and when you start your job you know how to do that particular job at least implementing a security policy or the small small task at least you will be able to understand and you can do it thank you so much guys for all your support and uh, if you are new to my channel please subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you never miss any video from me so guys this is day 0 video okay in upcoming videos i will be covering the blueprint of pcnsa what are uh, the topics that we need to cover and accordingly i'll be creating the videos okay in this video we are going to understand how the palo alto certification path is okay what is a firewall okay why it is important where we and why we use firewall what is a network firewall and endpoint firewall we are going to understand okay so i'll highly request or highly recommend you to watch this video at the end till the last so that you can understand this and you can also understand how we are going further in this course okay and guys i promise you that this will be finish within 6 month and you guys will be ready for the examination okay so without any further delay let's get start so friends first of all we'll explore the palo alto certification path okay what are the certification palo alto networks offers and this is the correct url you can go to this particular url i'll put this url into the description you guys can also access this url and you can check what are the certification and what are other things which offers by palo alto so we are basically focusing on the certification path okay so let's copy this url and open the browser so copying this open the browser and pasting this url and we are going to the palo alto education services now it has a lot of filters that is available with topic wise with label with uh, so we are basically interested in the certification so we'll click on certification now if you want to become or if you want to go into the track of cloud security uh, if you want to become a prisma we'll explain that what is prisma what exactly they offers in prisma we'll will try to understand that as well once we go into the uh, portfolio of palo alto okay so for now you just understand uh, prisma is basically uh, we are taking firewall on the cloud like how we take server on uh, on rent right same way we can rent the firewall on the cloud right after that we have cyber security so if you want to move into cyber security you can do this certification basically okay and what we are going to focus is basically network security okay so in se network security we are basically focusing on pcnsa okay which is a intermediate now we have some advanced courses as well so which is pcnsc okay now pcnsc only include palo alto firewall basically but in pcnsc we have palo alto plus panorama plus troubleshooting so in future once we complete this course we'll try to look at this one okay and this is the cloud deployment so if you want to deploy a firewall on cloud like aws or azure or any other uh, public clouds you can basically do this certification okay now 
if you move further this is the security operations now if you want to learn about basically the detection and remediation of any kind of re, uh, issues or something related to cyber threats okay and this is automation engineer so if you want to become an automation engineer in palo alto you can do this security automation engineer okay so right now we are going to focus into that particular area which is pca nsa okay so if i want to explore further we'll just click on this okay now it will give you a path of it what are the things that you need to learn like the next generation connection NAT, dos app id malware security policies and the other things as well okay now it also gives you the information about the certification also what is the target audience guys okay if you want to explore more about it you can go to description for whom this palo alto certification is like uh, this palo alto pcnsa for whom it is okay the description about the certification if you want to go and try to see the blueprint you can see what are the topics that is covered i'll be covering all of this topic guys okay and it will be practical also i'll be including uh, the experiences what i have gained from industry as well as some of the interview questions i'll be explaining you during this videos only okay that will be helpful now this is also a kind of a study guide you can get it and also uh, i'll try to share my notes if that is possible for me okay i'll try to do that with you guys okay so these are the exam resources and these are the uh, certification information if you want to understand the faq questions and all if you want to understand you can basically uh, go through this links okay so try to visit this particular url it will give you a lot more information okay and then you can move further with the so if you have decided to go with the pcnsa i'll highly encourage you to please subscribe to this channel and then we'll move into and we'll try to achieve this pcn pcnsa in six months and then we'll move on to pcnsc or cloud engineer or uh, automation engineer or something we'll try to choose that during that time and then we'll uh, complete that series as well okay so friends now we'll understand what is a firewall okay as you can see in this diagram there is a firewall and it is basically allowing a permitted traffic and it is denying unwanted traffic now how a firewall understands it is a permitted traffic or it is unwanted traffic now we have to basically educate or basically we have to give some parameters right that this parameter is allowed this parameter is not allowed okay so whatever parameter we give to firewall he will be checking those parameters okay and apart from that everything will be denied by default okay so what is those parameters we'll try to understand with the help of osi model in upcoming video okay for now it's a very basic about firewall so think about a scenario wherein you are at your home okay and you want to go to office okay so this is your office now in middle there are few uh, stops are there signals are there right so there are few signals are there and there is a traffic police over there now if traffic police stops you and if you are not driving well then in that case he will catch you and he will say show me your driving license you are not following the rule so that is also kind of a parameter which is given to the traffic police that he should check whether you are driving the car properly or not same way whether the traffic which is coming from outside 
or it is going through the firewall whether it is following the correct parameters yes or no if yes then it will be allowed if no then it will be denied okay so friends let's understand why firewall is important okay with the help of this diagram we'll try to understand okay now as we have understood in the firewall what exactly it does it allows the legitimate traffic and it denies the illegitimate or which is basically unwanted okay now in this way it basically defends his resources right so what is behind the firewall it basically defends it so whatever parameters we are going to give i am talking about always the parameters now we'll talk about the parameters in next upcoming video okay what are those parameters okay so with the help of that it basically defends your resources it validates your access so if somebody is from inside or from outside if somebody is basically accessing the internet or from outside to inside something it basically validates your access whether you are allowed so it recognize the user and try to validate whether that user is allowed to access that particular resources or not okay it manage and control the traffic meaning that it basically allows what is required it doesn't allow which is not required so it basically controls the traffic flow which is basically accepted by the network with that will be allowed which is not accepted or which is unwanted it will be denied and also it basically records and report the events it generates a logs saying that that traffic is denied because of some reason or it basically represents a report to you that your network is basically having this kind of traffic there is the traffic patterns right if the users most of the users are going to some website like let's say google or youtube so it will in the report it will say that most of the users are uh, visiting this website so it creates a report for you okay and also it act as a intermediary so what exactly means that in the middle he'll be acting as intermediate so if the traffic is ca coming from outside or going to outside like from inside to outside or outside to inside he'll be acting in between and he'll be allowing or denying the wanted and unwanted traffic right and it basically takes that particular action okay so friends as we have understood about what is firewall what is the importance now why firewall is needed if there is no firewall in the network now how we can protect against unwanted traffic which is coming from internet or if i want to strict or maybe uh, i want to block the traffic which is destined to an unwanted website or unwanted destination in that case how can we block the traffic so without the firewall this action is not possible so that is the reason we have to use the firewall now if you go to any organization even your windows pc is having firewall so without the firewall you cannot protect your device or your network we'll try to see what is a windows firewall what is a network firewall okay so friends let's understand what is a network firewall and what is a endpoint firewall okay now endpoint firewall is basically a system firewall so system can be anything it can be linux it can be mac it can be windows or any any system that you can think about so now that firewall is only for protecting the system which is go the traffic which is going inside the pc or coming from out of the system so basically fire that firewall is protecting that traffic only okay now and the network firewall is basically 
sets between the network okay so let's say i have a network of 192 168 10.0 we have 20.0 and we have 30.0 so network firewall is basically sits between the different different networks okay now exact what exactly happens let's understand a situation okay now when we stay in our home right this is our home so for an example you just understand now we have a gate now we lock the gate so that nobody enters when we sleep in the night nobody enters in my home on basically somebody should not or rob our houses or some things should not be stolen in the night when i'm not i'm sleeping during that time okay now if the person is out of the house okay in the day time he also need to be protected right which is where the police come in into the picture where they protect the city people right so same way the when the traffic is out of this device right that traffic needs to be protected right so where the firewall or the network firewall comes into the picture okay so endpoint firewall is also required and network firewall is also required so guys this is what i wanted to cover in this video it is very fundamental guys okay so we are going to start the pcnsa in a very detailed way okay i'll be covering all the topics guys whatever it is there in the blueprint i'll try okay there are few actions which cannot be performed in the lab but i'll try to manage it and try to do it okay and also uh the topics which I am going to cover I will be listing down in upcoming videos okay and will start from the beginning guys so if you are very new to firewall and if you don't know about it I am expecting you guys to have a network basics clear so network basics if I talk about network basics at least you should know what is TCP what is R what is UDP and all those things right what is osi model importantly okay so i'm expecting you guys to understand about this and whatever topic that i'm going to cover related to firewall it, it is from the basic itself okay so guys thank you so much for watching till the end and also i'll request you to please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you never miss a video from me Thank you so much and I'll see you in the next.